Hello, I'm Sarah Thompson Copsey, and on behalf of Legal Futures, I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, the Commercial Property Update Autumn 2020. We're going to be looking at quite a number of cases today, but we're also going to be spending quite a lot of time at the beginning of today's update uh, looking at COVID inspired legislation and uh, codes and uh, practice notes that have been put forward to help uh, landlords, tenants and uh, property uh, buyers and sellers in general, but particularly landlords and tenants, um, deal with the fallout from the pandemic and the economic impact it's having, particularly on leases and leasehold obligations. So we're going to be looking today to begin with at leases. We're going to be looking at the COVID code of practice which is a voluntary code, as we'll see in just a second. We'll also be looking at things like possession proceedings, um, uh, at insolvency, at commercial rent arrears recovery, uh, and the changes that have been wrought to leases, or at least the um, obligations and the remedies under leases, um, simply because of the pandemic in the government's endeavour to ensure that the economy is bolstered as much as possible. We'll also be looking at cases. We'll be looking at a case on um, guarantees of authorised guarantee agreements. We'll be looking at a case on entry rights and a case on rent review. We'll be looking too at the interpretation of documents. It's actually a development agreement that we'll be looking at. It's a Singaporean agreement, but actually dealt with in the English courts. And we'll be looking at rights of way restrictive covenants and aesthetic grounds for refusing consent to development. And we'll also at the very end be looking at the upcoming appeals. So things to be alert for, and in particular, the Millgate case. 